All right, let's talk about the Lumix S5 and more specifically, it's IBIS. When I first bought the camera, I completely dismissed all the great reviews on IBIS, also known as in-body image stabilization. Mainly because the camera I was using before, which was the Sony a6600, was said to have great IBIS as well. But it wasn't until I started shooting and going through the menus of this camera that I realized how great this IBIS system is and eventually decided to just stop using my gimbal altogether. All my music videos, all my corporate stuff, my poor gimbal was just sitting alone in a closet. This changed around January though when I shot a wedding video and decided to pick up the gimbal again and I was actually considering at a moment if I really had to use it because in my mind I thought the IBIS was able to hold up but it didn't really feel right to go into a wedding without one so I ended up using it anyway. So once the wedding was over and I started editing it really got me thinking could I have shot this wedding with the S5's IBIS and no gimbal? I wanted to see if the Lumix S5's IBIS could actually replace a gimbal, so I went out and recorded multiple tests. For these tests, I used the Zion Crane 2, and I did four different tests. One handheld, one handheld with e-stabilization turned on, one with the gimbal, and then shots with the gimbal and e-stabilization combined. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, e-stabilization is a built-in mode in the S5 that is like an extra layer of stabilization on top of the stabilization that is already there, which is kind of crazy. The only thing with this mode is it crops your image a little bit, so there's an example of it. But yeah, let's go ahead and check out the footage and see how they compare. Alright, so there you have it. The question is now, does the Lumix S5's IBIS hold up with a gimbal? And I would honestly have to say, unfortunately, no. I think that Panasonic is doing an incredible job with their IBIS systems, but I think the gimbal just looks so much smoother and eliminates so much of that jitter and shake that we get with our hands. I think the e-stabilization on its own handheld is pretty decent, and I would probably recommend having this on if you don't have a gimbal on you. But yeah, honestly, as tempting as it is to ditch gimbals and ditch rebalancing and ditch carrying these things around, I think that we're still not at a point yet where we can rely on IBIS alone. However, I would say in my opinion, besides the DJI Ronin 4D, which literally has a built-in gimbal, I think Panasonic is doing the best job across all of the brands, and I think their technology and e-stabilization is the best of its kind from what I have personally used. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that the IBIS did good in these tests? Do you think that gimbals are done for? Go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.